If you want to paint your own shoes, this is how you do it. First step, prepare the shoes. You need to do this because you need to know the materials of the shoe you want to paint. Are you gonna paint on leather, fabric, or plastic? For leather, you can directly apply the Angelus paint onto the shoe. If you're painting on fabric material, you need to mix the Angelus leather paint with Too Soft or Too Thin or GAC 900. For plastic or midsole, you need to mix Angelus leather paint with Too Hard or GAC 200. I'm painting the upper part and midsole of these shoes, so I need to prepare GAC 200 for the midsole and Angelus Too Thin for the upper. Next is to decide what type of design you want to do. Are you gonna make a doodle? Are you drawing your own character or is it gonna be a cartoon anime character? For these shoes, I'm gonna make it look like Patrick Star. When I saw the Kyrie Spongebob collection, I really want one but I can't afford it. So I decided I'm just gonna make my own version. On your table, you gotta have paintbrush, Angelus leather paints, Angelus too soft, too thin, too hard, GAC 900, GAC 200, cottons, acetone, or shoe preparer, and empty small containers if you're mixing colors. Every artist, designer, customizer is different, so they will have their own version and process. This is just a general guide. Some people start with taping their shoes. Some people just go straight painting. It depends on how comfortable are you with the paintbrush. And now it's time to apply the acetone to the midsole and let it dry. While waiting, you can mix your colors. I don't have the right color for Patrick's shorts, so I'm gonna mix light green, yellow, and tropic sun yellow in a small container, then add GAC 200. For the flower design in Patrick's shorts, I'm gonna mix lilac and violet and add GAC 200. Once the acetone is all dried up, it's time to paint the whole midsole green. I'm not doing any small details so I won't use the tape. You can use a heat gun if you want to speed things up. And then apply the second layer, apply the third layer, or fourth layer, or fifth layer, it's up to you until you get the color you want to achieve. Again, no need to use the tape because I'm just doing a flower shape. I feel like it's missing something, so I added Patrick's eyes and mouth to complete the look. Don't forget to apply the acrylic finisher on top of your design. I just used the regular acrylic finisher, but you can use matte or high gloss finishers for your shoes. And that's it. That's how I customize my shoes. Make sure to subscribe and tag me on Instagram with what you come up with. See you in the next one. Bye!